Well, that is pretty easy. Let's see. First we need the mortar itself with ammo. Well, do we have that? Absolutely. Well done. Next thing we need is to know where the enemy is. Well, we already spotted them very well. The next step is to know where we are, so we can actually guess the range on the enemy. So, you normally should know where you more are, more or less. So, I am in a white field. There is a green field. I came from somewhere back there. I obviously know on the map where that was. So, I know that I'm on a little bit of a hill that goes down, but there's higher up here. So, where am I? Right here. Now we have to locate the enemy. Well, we see the enemy down there. So that is somewhere in the western side. So it should be somewhere down here. So let's see. They are behind the white field. So they are pretty much at the end here. But they are between both those tree lines. And actually closer on this tree line in the western side. So that means they are approximately going uphill, so they are probably right here. Well, great, so we know the location of the enemy and of us, but now we have to calculate the distance. How do we do that? Well, that is pretty easy actually. I have found a strategy that works pretty nicely. So what you do is count from your location, so let's see, we have 100, 200, 300, 400 and 500 meters. Now obviously I'm cutting a little bit off, so let's say we are 460 meters away. Now, obviously you can't fire at 460 meters because it also goes in the diagonal line, so that means it's more distance. Now, I found a little trick, pretty much where you go from this line, and per 100 meters that you count down from this spot, or from your location pretty much, um, you add 40 meters on top of what you calculated. So, we have calculated 460 meters, we add 200 meters, so we have plus 40 plus 40, so it's 80 in total. Plus we also have a little bit more because we are standing a little bit up here. So I count in 15 meters more. So let's say 95 meters more. Now 460 and 95, what does that give me? Well, let's calculate that in my head because I would need to do that on the, on the battlefield. So that's pretty easy. It is for 555. So, hi guys, um, past me here, actually, a um, little correction on that part. Uh, I found a way how to calculate this uh, very accurate. Um, so, you pretty much got, uh, so we, we were talking about 460 meters by about 200 meters. Uh, I found out that this is calculated by ratio. So, we have uh, 460 to, to 200 meters, so let's say 400 to 200 meters. That would be a ratio of 2 to 1, because 4 is double of 2, which is 1. So Pretty much we would have to add 23 meters per 100 meters of the width, so the shorter side, in this case 200, so we have 2 times 23, which would make sec uh, 46. Uh, you can also um, add up the 60 meters we had a little bit, uh, so bigger ratio would mean less uh, additional meters needed. Uh, in this case, you could probably put 2 or 3 meters away from the 23, so not really worth it. Just just saying. Keep keep it time efficient on the math side, right? See ya. So the next thing is, we have to get to the enemy. Now we have to fire at them, we know the distance, we know the direction more or less. So, what do we do? First, we need to make sure that we have uh, the angle to the enemy. So, you either can pinpoint it with your eyes, or you can use your compass if you are not sure, and pretty much follow this needle. Now, I like to use my eyes, more or less, if I know where, where I have to shoot at. So, I just use the eyes. So, next thing is we have the mortar in the inventory, so we can pretty much open the, inventory with the mortar with the number 3 and the casual numbers, so not the numpad. And then it pops out a little screen with a sheet on the right side. So, we know our distance is 555 meters. So we have to get the range in meters, the first line. Um, and go down there to, let's say, 550, because it's the closest one on the sheet. And then we have to get our elevation on the left side to that number that is on the same line as 550. So I'm going to go 1089. 
Let's see, that should work more or less. And then we have five meters more, a little bit, not really worth to talk about. But for the sake of video, I'm gonna do it. So five meters, what do I know? Probably four points less. I don't know. Let's say 83. And what now I have to do, I said I like to pinpoint it with my eyes. You could also use the map if you like that more with the compass trick and just follow the needle. But that's probably often more dangerous because you're not really sure where you are on the map. So I could be here or up here and that does a lot in degrees. So I pretty much let this away for now. And let's see, I pinpointed me in my eyes. I think that's pretty much the middle of the screen. I have a nice logo on my screen so I know exactly where the middle is. A little bit cheaty, but hey, you use what you got. And then what you pretty much do, you got the elevation and the range in that way. And you just shoot with your left mouse button. And then we wait until it impacts. You got actually a time of flight on the sheet on the very right in seconds. And there we go. Okay. We overshot them a little bit. Oh, they are firing back at us. That's interesting. But you have seen we only overshot them by a little bit. Obviously, that was pretty bad because it was probably in the slope down here. So because I know I overshot before, I probably have to go higher with numbers because higher numbers mean less range. So 550 and a little bit less was actually overshot by quite far. So I would say 500 could actually hit the target also. Be aware that you are higher than the enemy. That means the shell actually flies a little bit further because you are calculating uh, the shell to fly to impact on the same height as you. So it's probably gonna have a few meters more. I don't think it's too much. So let's see. Now I have pinpointed the enemy. And I have set the range down by 50 meters. And we fire another shell. Let's see if my correction does it. If you think you have to hit the target on first try, well, if you do, pretty good, well done. But the first shot normally always goes into the wrong direction. Oh, let's say into the wrong place. Oh, and there we see, we, wow, we got them dead on. That was a perfect hit. So we see we hit them very nicely, pretty much perfectly on the hill where they were standing. For your reference, they were actually a little bit more in front than what I guessed. I guess they are back here and I'm pretty much here. So I was pretty much accurate on my shot and I estimated it little, pretty much a little bit too far away. So that probably explains why I overshot it. So yeah. That's pretty much how to use a mortar and I hope that helped you guys and yeah if you feel like those 40 meters are too much you can correct that. I personally always thought that 40 meters might be quite accurate probably not perfect but quite accurate so get your own math I guess and just get used to it get comfortable and shoot the enemy with it.